actually. <laughs> <laughs> So four straight top 25 matchup. What's it like playing these big games back to back to back to back? So we treat every game like it's a big game, no matter what, what the ranking is, no matter what the atmosphere is, no matter what we're playing. So every game is a big game because it's the next game. So we treat every game like it's our last game. So we're really looking forward to playing Washington State at Washington State. Troy, you played these guys twice. What's, what's the key defensively and your, your keys going up against them when they're throwing 80% of the time? Uh, like you said, they throw 80% of the time. So we're trying to be able to keep running people and just rise to the ball. Make tackles and try to get the move and get uh, the ball back in the first number's hands, which is the game. Uh, they have a really good offense, they run running well. They have a great quarterback who runs the system perfectly. They have a tight receiver in the middle of the offensive line. So we're going to give our hands full this weekend again. And then it's Pac 12 play, you're going to have your hands for every week. But uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge this week. You feel like with, I mean, you've got so many guys, especially the front seven, who played Washington State now one or two times. But as you see that, it gets a little easier to prepare for them each time? Uh, not easy. I mean, it's never really easy to prepare for anything with a pack program. I mean, how many times you play, you play them three times a year, you still have to challenge these kids. I mean, you feel there's so many different things to the table. Like you said, like, last week, Washington was doing different things for Washington State. And, you know, they switched to try to find new ways to get you know, prepared and be ready to go. But I mean, we're looking forward to you know, playing Washington State and the great offense that we have. You've been to Poland before. Is it anything different or special to about To be honest, Atlanta? I've actually never been to Poland. Oh, I, got, I got hurt by freshman. I got a confession that we tried to travel so it's my first time going to Poland, so I was forced to. What do you expect it to be like? It's a different. It's, it's a smaller stadium. Yeah, it's yeah, a different no. atmosphere. I definitely heard that. I heard it was really loud, rowdy. Uh, fans got into the game a lot. They're kind of obnoxious, but I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I love playing in big time games in front of a lot of people, so I look forward to it. What about your teammate here for a second? What makes Justin Collins special? Ah, old man. Um, he's just a, he's just a freaking nature. The dude is 6'5", 245, just looking at whatever he's at. Uh, runs a sub 4'5", whatever he runs. I mean, the dude's just super athletic. He's big, strong, physical, fast. He's, he's everything you want an outside linebacker and then some. So we're really excited to have him on all time of the ball and we're really excited for the year that he's having and hopefully he continues to have the success he's been having. As you study these guys, how has it been cut down the number of sacks allowed so much this year? Just, just the way they get the ball out. Get the ball out really fast. The quarterback is strong. He's trying to be a quarterback like we had in the past. Get out with the pieces like the play. That's where you really find the ball out. The offense is trying to how much of a challenge is that? Like, like you say, you're shifting from Washington, there's seven and eight man personnel, so you're running downhill. Here you're going to be dropping back, but you just said the quarterback scramble, so you don't want to go downhill yet. You want to be scrambling. No, it, it's definitely different, like you said. Man. Keep his eyes down, focus the shooter behind the shooter, trying to just play the hat on me, and just hope that you guys can do a job and just keep everybody in the right spots. What about the guy that's been next to you on the inside this year? What have you seen out of him and what have you seen out of him? I mean, I feel like there's a lot of dudes that has around the ball at all times. He loves his game. He teaches me a lot. He loves his playbook. I mean, he is like the leader of the defense. I'm a guy who trusts him a lot with a lot of things. He's just watching him play. He plays good for himself. He's a tough legend. He's trying to just listen to that. He's a good girl. He's a good guy. Last time you guys were in Pullman, obviously Herbert got thrown in there for the first time. Did you have a sense coming home from that trip that you know, there was a change in the guard and he was going to be the guy? Well, like, well, like I said, I, I didn't go to Pullman the first year, so I was already home when everybody got home. Um, so you saw his TV on TV then. What did you kind of see first impression of you? I mean, my first impression was Herb was in all the camps. I already knew he was going to be the man first, regardless of what he was going to be the man first, regardless of so I knew the covers would be our band in the long run, and I was super excited when we went down to watch the stand-up freshman year and do this thing, and I loved it out for them. Troy, it seems like if Austin can't play for you guys, Drake is probably the guy that steps in his place. What does he mean for this group? Yeah. Uh, uh, Dre means a lot for us. I mean, like you say, he brings a lot of depth for us, and then there's a lot of other guys on the defensive line that bring depth for us as well. But Dre is probably one of our key guys who does a lot of things for us. He knows a lot of positions, whether it's nose and tackle. He can do a lot for us, whether uh, all over the field. So we're really excited to have him on the top of the ball. It's been a couple of years since Salaveo was on the Washington State side, but does he still have, does he give you any intel? Is there anything that he? That no, he I mean he doesn't really. I mean because he was a defensive coach anyway, so I mean he doesn't really have anything on the offense that yeah. much. So I mean he doesn't really try to focus on what they're talking about. We try to just try to focus on our game plan and just get prepared as best as we can and just we really look forward to Saturday. Finish your sentence, Justin Collins most likely to complain about something on his body hurt. <laughs> Which is most likely what? 
What do you think it Probably his wrist because he always has a cast on. Uh, he complains that he can't catch. Um, and the dude's just ugly too, so this is this. Troy, watching the state relies on a That's quick passing right. game. What, what do you feel like some of the keys are to try to slow that down? Uh, just try to get in the passing lanes, get our hands up, uh, just keep everything in front of us and just rally to the ball. Thanks, Troy.